Hello everyone, hope you all are keeping safe at home during this lockdown. My name is Ronaldo Butcher and today I'll be giving you a demonstration on how to make a coal vessel from clay. Clay is a very forgiving and therapeutic material. So this is something perfect for you to do to keep you relaxed and calm during these difficult times. All you need is a bit of clay, some slurry, rolling pin, water. So we have the lid of a hot chocolate container a paintbrush, a knife, and I have two kidneys. I have a serrated kidney and a smooth one. If you don't have any kidneys, you can use a butter knife as a replacement. If you don't have any clay at home, please check the British Ceramics Biennial Salt Dough recipe to make some clay of your own. Or, depending on where you live, you might be able to go out and dig some. The first thing we're going to do is knead the clay. We do this to get rid of any air bubbles that may be in the clay and also to mix it to one consistency. The style of kneading we're using here is called the ram's head technique. Take both hands, push down and slightly forward and then pull the clay back to you. And I want you to re repeat this just for about a couple minutes or so. Take a small amount of clay about the size of a tennis ball and I want you to roll it with a rolling pin to about one centimeter thick. Now you're gonna use your lid. I'm using the lid of a hot chocolate container and I want you to place it onto the clay. Now you're gonna cut a circle out and this will be your base. Take a knife and I want you to cross hatch the border going around your circle. Then I want you to take your slurry and I want you to brush this on top of the cross hashing you've done. Now we're going to begin to make our coals. Pinch off a small amount of clay, about the size of a small sausage. And I want you to use your entire pan to roll out a long rope of clay. You're going to start rolling from the tip of your finger right down to the bottom of your palm and I want you to roll back and forth and moving your hand from side to side now you're going to wrap your coil around your hot chocolate lid to make sure it's long enough take your first coil and gently push it on top of your base Taking your hand going all the way around and you're going to allow the coil to overlap and go back to where you started. Take your knife and at a slight angle just cut through the two of them. Remove the excess clay in the middle and with a bit of slurry just join the two ends together. I want you to cross hatch on top of this coil now. Add some slurry again and then join another coil to this. Now I want you to do this to about four or five coils. Then I want you to place your hand inside of the pot and take your butter knife and I want you to blend the clay together. You're going to do the same thing to the inside. Always make sure you're supporting the opposite side of the clay that you're blending. And I want you to keep adding coils till you reach your desired height. So now I want you to use your knife to blend all of these coils. And I want you to use the side that looks like a serrated kidney. When you use it, it makes a bit of texture on the surface. And I also want you to do the same thing to the inside. After you've reached the desired height you want, I want you to take a bank card. You're going to use this as a kidney. I want you to bend it slightly and pull upward on your pot. And that will help to smooth the outsides. Now, I want you to leave your pot to dry for about half a day or so. At this point, your piece will become leather hard, like similar to the consistency of chocolate or cheese. Take some water and squeeze some onto the surface that you're working on. Hold your piece upside down, so rim facing down to the table, 
and I want you to turn your paw in a circular motion and this is going to work similar to like sandpaper so this will help you to get your rim nice and even and smooth at this point your piece can still be manipulated I want you to take your fingers dip them in water and rub them around the rim finally I want you to take a damp sponge and I want you to wipe your piece inside and out and this should give you a very clean and finesse finish. I hope you enjoyed making your coal vessel. Please share your photographs online with the Craft Council and follow my journey on social media at Motions of Clear. Thank you for watching.